here today's topic the Christian and psychology part 3 what we are going to cover is right excludes wrong only one day is mine how well balanced minds may be developed knowledge and science must be vitalized by the Holy Spirit whole being open to healing urgencies of heaven, grace is not developed in a moment. Right excludes wrong. Parents, you are the ones to decide whether the minds of your children shall be filled with ennobling thoughts or with vicious sentiments. You cannot keep their active minds unoccupied, neither can you frown away evil. Only by the inculcation of right principles can you exclude wrong thoughts. Unless parents plant the seed of truth in the hearts of the children, the enemy will sow tears. Good, sound instruction is the only preventive of the evil communications that corrupt good manners. Truth will protect the soul from the endless temptations that must be encountered. Christian Temperance, page 121. That means we have a job to do as parents for our children and we know that there are things for us to do. So. We should be very careful of and mindful of what we allow our children to do and watch and words that they say. So, let us wake up and take actions. Let's move on to part two. Only one day is mine. Day by day, we are all to be trained disciplined and educated for usefulness in this life. Only one day at a time, think of this. One day is mine. I will in this one day do my best. I will use my talent of speech to be a blessing to some other one, a helper, a comforter, an example which the Lord my Savior shall approve. I will exercise myself in patience, kindness, forbearance, that the Christian virtues may be developed in me today. Every morning, dedicate yourself, soul, body, and spirit to God. Establish habits of devotion and trust more and more in your Savior. You may believe with all confidence that the Lord Jesus loves you and wishes you to grow up to his stature of character. He wishes you to grow in his love, to increase and strengthen in all the fullness of divine love. Then you will gain a knowledge of the highest value for time and for eternity. Later, page 36. That is important, and this is important, and as you guys know, today is mine because it is present. Tomorrow is not yours because it is not guaranteed. And so we should keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next part. How well-balanced minds may be developed. Labor is a blessing. It is impossible for us to enjoy health without labor. All the faculties should be called into use 
that they may be properly developed and that men and women may have well-balanced minds. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 3, page 154 and 155. I think this is straightforward, so there's nothing much for me to add on that one. Moving on. Knowledge and science must be vitalized by the Holy Spirit. It is only when brought under the full control of the Spirit of God that the talents of an individual are rendered useful to the fullest extent. The precepts and principles of religion are the first steps in the acquisition of knowledge and lie at the very foundation of true education. Knowledge and science must be vitalized by the Spirit of God in order to serve the noblest purposes. The Christian alone can make the right use of knowledge. Science, in order to be fully appreciated, must be viewed from a religious standpoint. Then all will worship the God of science. The heart which is ennobled by the grace of God can best comprehend the real value of education. The attributes of God as seen in His created works can be appreciated only as we have a knowledge of the Creator. The teachers must be acquainted not only with the theory of the truth, but must have an experimental knowledge of the way of holiness in order to lead the youth to the fountains of truth, to the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Knowledge is power for good only when united with true piety. A soul emptied of self will be noble. Christ abiding in the heart by faith will make us wise in God's sight. Manuscript, page 44 And we know that many people do not associate the Bible with science because they have been brainwashed by evolution in the school and some of them believe that evolution is science when in reality evolution is a religion just as those who believe in creation it is a religion so uh, the true science comes from the bible people are going to be upset to know that Evolution is not science. I'm going to have the last two together. And so I'm going to be talking about whole being open to healing agencies of heaven and grace is not developed in a moment. Christ is the wellspring of life. That which many need is to have a clearer knowledge of him. They need to be patiently and kindly yet earnestly taught how the whole being may be thrown open to the healing agencies of heaven. When the sunlight of God's love illuminates the darkened chambers of the soul, restless weariness and dissatisfaction will cease and satisfying joys will give vigor to the mind and health and energy to the body. Ministry of Healing, page 247 the precious graces of the Holy Spirit are not developed in a moment. Courage, fortitude, meekness, faith, unwavering trust in God's power to save are acquired by the experience of years. By a life of holy endeavor and firm adherence to the right, the children of God are to seal their destiny. Ministry of Healing, page 454 So... It takes time to get better, uh, even though God will come in your life, today it doesn't mean tomorrow you're going to be better. It takes practice and faith and trust and prayer. And so that was the part three of the Christian and psychology. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye for now. Mario out.